Okay, so welcome back. Today I want to answer some questions. Questions like, will a 3400G or a 3200G run on an i520 board? According to AMD, the answer is absolutely no. It says on the box, there's no support for 3400 and 3200Gs as they are actually not real third gen CPUs. So what we're here to do today is try to debunk that, whether it is debunkable or not. So on the bench here is a machine that I built looking at doing my VR, uh, just a little box that I could put out by my uh, racing seat and something to sit down and enjoy, which I haven't really gotten to use it at all yet. When I was building it, I made a big mistake. I accidentally put a 3400G in it thinking I was putting a 3600X. What were the results? this machine I have a 3400G with an i520 gigabyte ITX motherboard. As you can see, it's booting up. So what does AMD mean when they say it doesn't work? What do they say when they say it doesn't work? It says on the box, no support for 3400 or 3200G. So what we're here to do today is we're about to find out. We know it works with a video card. It's working. What we want to find out and what I don't know, because this is a question that came up numerous times, is will it work on its own? Will the APU, the, the video card built into the 3400G function, can we debunk what AMD has said about this processor and this motherboard. In order to do that, of course, we're gonna to have to take the video card out, fire it up and see what happens. Guess we need to put a mouse in there, huh? <laughs> kind of hard to do things sometimes without a mouse. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to adjust it because when I take the video card out, it's going to be an issue anyway. So as we can see, the system is running. Let me show you guys what I'm telling you is true. Ryzen 5 3400G, I'm not sure you guys can see that right now, but 100% we are running a Ryzen 5 3400G. There's 16 gigs of RAM in here, nothing is shared, and Windows is activated. Everything is running perfectly fine on a processor they say that should not. It even recommend, or it even notices with Vega graphics. Now, according to the box, none of this was supposed to work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut the system down. We're going to take out the video card and find out if it's all false. Keeping in mind that this video or these uh, APUs are second gen, not third gen Ryzen's, which mean even though they have a 3000 on them, they're not third gen. They're just an upscale, like a, uh, a secondary version of the 2400 and the uh 2200 they're just better better video better processing but they're still second gen they're still based off it so we're going to take the trusty be quiet screwdriver here move my rad hose unplug the video on this video card unplug the hdmi now we're going to plug the hdmi up here i don't know if that's enough can i do that without now that the video card's not powered up, will it still work? That's a cool question. The video card's not plugged in, there's no power. Will it still post? Of course there should be nothing, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go with no, just in case it's defaulting to it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the video card and prove that that is the case. And it may not be. Maybe the 3400G or 3200G will work as a regular processor, but not as an APU. And that's what we're here to find out. 
So let's get this out. By the way, if you're looking to use this Cooler Master case, it is okay. I never did a review on it. I never really, 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 really liked it, but it isn't horrendous. It's just not the airflow I thought it would be with all these ventings and the, you know, capabilities. Just don't find it that great. But anyway, to each their own, if you're looking for a small case, this is definitely a small case. A little bit of a nightmare to work in, but it is a small case. I thought it could be cool for, oops, for my VR setup that I haven't even touched yet, but um, I think I have another case that I'm going to try and see what I think of it. It might actually be a little bigger, but sometimes you gotta live with things. All right. So unplug this. Okay. Video card is now out. Hello? What's up? I'm uh, trying to debunk or, or not debunk the 3400 running in that board without a video card. So, it's cycling right now. Huh? I figured that would. One of the top three things that would make me happy with that chip. Yeah, but I am not looking I'm like I'm. Whether it's number two or number three, but it's in the top three. I don't think I'm getting video. Guys, just in case you're wondering, is Jeff on the phone? Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, video. Yeah, still recording. Nice. Does anybody want to know what number one thing that would make me happiest about that CPU? All right, let it's me. Go ahead. You. What's the one thing? No, no, the people need to know. All right. Number one would be as if Paul gave me that chip. Hmm. Or traded me that chip. That would have been number one. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Anyway. So, the verdict is in. The processor, the processor works with a video card as a regular processor, even though it acknowledges in Windows that it says with Vega graphics, but it does not work without a video card. Guys, so now we know that there is a yes and a no to this boxed label saying 3400 and 3200Gs do not work on the i520, i550 uh, motherboards, whether it be Gigabyte, Asus, MSI, doesn't matter. They do, they do absolutely work and that part I'm calling the bluff on, but it has to have a GPU. So if you have one of these processors and you're looking to upgrade a board to move forward, you can do so. As long as you don't, I'm going to say update the bias. That could be your killer as a second gen CPU will not work after you update a five series board. So my verdict, yes, you can put a 3400 or a 3200 G, I'm not sure about anything older, possibly, in a i520 or a i550 motherboard, as long as you have a GPU separate to support the unit. Without a video card in there, absolutely not. I got no post, no boot, no nothing. So I hope <laughs> that I've answered some questions somewhere and that we've solved something. And I'm very happy because it was an accident. This was just something I accidentally thought I put a 3600X into the board and it turned out that it was a 3400G and it worked. Till next time guys, thanks for watching, game over.